Well, tomorrow's crop production report is the first of the year to incorporate USDA's objective yield data, offering the first data-driven look at how crops are faring. But there's far more that goes on behind the scenes at USDA's headquarters. Sarah Mock has more from Washington. Is down from last year. In fact, it's the lowest. When the USDA releases its market moving However, reports, like crop production or planted season. acres, the report is written under intense lockup conditions. We want to make sure that we have a chance to get here, have our security staff in place at least a couple of hours before the statisticians start coming in to work on those reports. Uh, that is to ensure that all of the phone lines are down, the computer systems are disconnected, all of the windows and blinds and shades are all locked and in place. So basically for the lockup process, we have a, a perimeter around the workspace such that no one uh, gets information out before it's time. The lockup process, which often starts in the middle of the night, is all about protecting farmers' information and making sure everyone has equal access to public data. The data that we collect from farmers and ranchers is protected by law, number one. So we make sure we protect the integrity of the process. Producer individual information is never shared. And providing information to farmers rather than Wall Street is a key consideration. The benefit is really most uh, at the local level uh, for the producers to know what's happening in their communities around their, uh, their states and, and regional areas. They'll get a chance to know how they compare to other operations during with similar types of size or types of commodities that they're uh, growing. And uh, obviously at the national level uh, for production and supply and demand, those statistics are very important. We're more concerned about the local producers having information to make decisions. Farmers are affected by these reports in more ways than short-term price movements. If there are disasters, floods, or natural disasters in, in ag communities, they use a lot of the NAS data for that. To help with the safety net for crop insurance purposes, NAS data are used for those purposes as well. The five-year uh, farm bill, uh, bills that go into place and other legislation, they use NAS data to help set policies and to uh, drive some of those decisions. NAS officials encourage farmers to respond to their surveys by mail, online, by phone, or in some cases, in person at local offices. Response rates have declined in recent years, but officials say they've seen a recent uptick as they've worked to explain the benefits of these reports to farmers. For RFD TV, Sarah Mock, Washington. Well, tomorrow's crop production report will be released from the USDA at noon Eastern, 11 Central. And we'll have coverage of the results and how they've affected grain markets right here on our markets desk.